Hello my friends of Qatari Labs, my name is Ormo Toya, please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for the regional, this regional model with a Boronoi mesh for our study case of Angascancha. So uh, you are going to receive in the description of the video a folder that is called regional groundwater model with Modflow 6. I'm going to expand the size of my icons. Great, so you are going to receive the the CBED version of this and for this tutorial you actually uh, are required to have a geospatial content environment so there will be a tutorial on a link for a tutorial on that so see, see the document so place the please please place and unzip or unrar the file under your documents Okay, see the regional. Okay, and then here we conda env list. Okay, we list all our conda environments. And here say conda activate geohatari. Okay, or whatever is the name of your your special conda environment. Okay, and then here we launch Jupyter Lab. The I'm going to close this, 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 this. The the folder is, I mean, the tutorial is divided in the executables, so the modflow six executables, the input data, the notebooks, some source code, and the output data. So let's here, let's go to notebooks, and the first part will actually will do the Voronoi mesh discretization, take into account the Angascancha basic extension and take into account the river network as well okay and it also creates some chef file those are partial chef file used for the Voronoi discretization okay and these are helpful when you want to sort that out what had happened with your mesh or where the Voronoi come from okay so we just have to okay kernel clear our outputs and then Yes, run this, run this, and run this. Okay, so we create the Voronoi regions .chef file, and then from that we import that in order to to show what we have plot, or we have what we have created. It creates around uh, 14,000. No, well, it will create more, but these are the points that were created in order to generate the Moreno image. Okay, and this is the representation of the Moreno image under the refinements and under the under the refinements and under the stages. Okay, so from the Moreno image, we create some. We create some uh, the discretization file this v or the this v properties because the this v will be generated in the next file. But for in order to create the this v file, um, we need to oops. yeah actually this is not going to. This is in Spanish. Okay, so we get the properties. Okay, so it creates a list of vertex and the cell 2D. Mm -hmm. So these are the cell 2D, where the this is the cell ID, the X and Y of the centroid, the number of vertex and the IDs of the vertex. Here we have the vertex, the ID and the XY, and then here we have the centroids. 
and then we store that in angascan chat dot uh, well it creates a folder and store there okay so it means that it has created here the json dict okay great so let's go to notebooks and then here let's go to model construction in model construction first we import the required package okay and then we import our this v okay but i'm going to restart kernel and clear outputs in order not to get you confused okay so this is the this v extraction then we open the dem we open the uh, we apply the dem i mean look at this this do uh, uh with raserio this is for every centroid i actually retrieve the value of the elevation okay and then we create five layers and then we have the elevation the m top as uh, we have the elevation and we have the m top as a, as a version of elevation because this is a list okay and then we create our intermediate uh, our intermediate layers okay we create the simulation the temporal discretization we create the simulation the temporal discretization let me check and then we create the solver and these are actually they're not required okay and then we create here we create the MV. there is a warning here but actually it works fine with that you are not required to do, that, to do this okay and then we define the kx we define as well the recharge the evapotranspiration and then we from the drainage network we intersect that to the grid okay with the grid intersect okay there is also warnings there Uh, well, we create the object of grid intersect, then we intersect the grid, the rivers to the grid, and then we can plot our intersected cells. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's working. Mm -hmm. and then we run this, and we create the drainage package. Okay. Then we define the output. Then we write a, we write the simulation and run the simulation. Okay, mm -hmm. it's running. And then we can plot our results. We can plot the um, we can plot the heads distribution we can do another plot here with the contour array and then we can plot as well the flow direction where we can do cross sections as well and then here we can plot the cross sections with the levels okay well there are more options for the cross section and then we can plot as well the these are the vector the direction vectors okay and then we can create uh, the the vtk of the model as well so if you don't have pi vistas you have to run this you have to uncomment this and run it once okay let me kernel clear all output okay and then here we define the model name okay great and then here we define the
where we just create a BTK and then we store the files in the BTK. Okay. So and with that we can go here. So actually in output data and gas cancha BTK uh, this will be those these two will be generated and in Paraview you can open that okay so here in output data and gas cancha in btk files you can plot your heads and this is the 3d of the model and then you can plot the heads that are here okay well there is something still missing that is the smoothing factor that we have to research more on that but uh, well I think that for this it was pretty comprehensive what was the scope of the tutorial and then you have much to play around to do your own workflow with your own data and as always it was a pleasure to give you this tutorial and to show our research please subscribe to our channels and after subscribing to our channel share our blog with your friends I hope to see you in coming courses, webinars, and other things, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.